What about um, Pacquiao and Thurman? Cool, man. What about what now? Pacquiao and Thurman. That's a good fight. I don't know how that's going to turn out. Um, you got two fighters that are capable of beating anybody in the world on any given day. Um, so it's going to be about who's there. Really. I mean, one time is a very good young prospect. One time is a very good young prospect. Thank you, baby. I appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, um, um, Pacquiao can beat anybody on any given day. You know, Pacquiao beyond his prime. You know, one time is still in his prime. So if one time can take Pacquiao's punch, then one time should be able to win the fight. But if one time can't take Pacquiao's punch, one time is in trouble. Mm -hmm. And that's why I like, the, I like the fight. Uh, the uh, Pacquiao uh, Thurman fight. To you, what's like the the question about can Thurman, that you have? Take, can Thurman take Pacquiao's punch? Yeah? yeah. You think that's yeah? Can Pacquiao head and body? Mm -hmm. Can he take Pacquiao's punch? Now, if he can take Pacquiao's punch, he punched harder to get Pacquiao out, we know that. And we will find a little, bit, a little bit about his boxing skills too because if he can't box, he can't keep Pacquiao off. You feel know I me? Mean? Yeah. He showed good skills against Thurman, I mean against our Porter, but they kind of fought the same fight. Pacquiao's a different one. But um, Thurman was out two years, he came back, and he was hurt by Jose Sinta Lopez. Do you what? draw anything from that or is that just rust because he'd been out of the ring? So two long? years off is hard to draw anything from it, but now I don't get it wrong. He still got hurt. Jose Sinta Lopez ain't no ball me. Just mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So don't get it twisted. And he didn't get hurt by just no other fighter. You gotta have your game right when you fight Jose Cito Lopez. Because yeah. he ain't no play. He ain't no play with So so it's like, yeah, it happened. Yeah, he been out two two years. And yeah, that makes you say, well, wow, he can hurt him. That guy should be the kid. And not so fast. That was his first fight back. This will be second. Those are two different type of points. With a whole lot more to gain and a whole lot more to lose. Lopez had nothing to lose. Exactly. Pack out the he has a name, he has a legacy. What Who do you favor your, in that fight? Your division. What are your thoughts on your 160 division after this? Okay. Who do you favor in the fight? I don't know. It's like, so you pick them to me. Yeah, it's a real pick them? Yeah, you pick them. Do you I'm like real. lean no, over somebody? You yeah, yeah. Jerry Hurt. Jerry Hurt a bad boy. What do you think he has to do different this next fight? He got to start boxing. Yeah. He's tall, he's in condition, but he ain't using his height. So, if you're that tall, Nothing against nobody, no turn or nothing, but I'm just telling you how I think about boxing. In boxing, you do what God gave you, your DNA. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to take a, 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 a short guy, a, a Chris Paul, and put him on the block. You're too short for that. You know what I'm saying? I want a patch of you on somebody that's tall enough to be on the block. Right? And I'm going to take a tall guy and make him fight you inside. That's the only thing, like uh, the guy 147 in the wheelchair. Uh, what is his name? Paul Williams. Paul Williams. It's a kill me with it because he throw 100 punches around it. Paul, you 6'2". You don't have to be getting hit. You're too tall for that. Why are you getting hit? You throwing 100 around, but you getting caught with 50. You ain't got to do that, bro. you 6'2". Why are you throwing 100 punches around and getting hit that many times? You don't have to do that. So it's kind of with hurt. Same thing. You don't have to do that. You can box. You tall enough. Use what God gave you. Get you reach. He gave you something different. You ain't no 5'5". Five five guy that got a bang. You don't have to do that. You can box and be smart. You're going to win a lot more because you're using what God gave you. So I'm a guy that believes in what God gave us. You know, if God gave me speed, I'm going to use my speed. God gave me power, I'm going to use my power. God gave me Tyson power, he didn't give me that kind of power. So I had to use my head a little more than Tyson did, because Tyson used his head, but Tyson used his head more than power, because that's what Tyson got. Right? And he didn't have that kind of power, he had to use his head because he had skin, like what I had. So you take what God gave you, and you make the best of it. Bird's not really, to me, he's not using what God gave you. Because he don't have to throw that many punches in the trade take that much. He can have box guys because he got the height, he got the speed footwork, he got the skills to do anything he wants to do. But you can't do it fighting the wrong style of fight. If you fight that style, you give guys that they gotta just beat him an opportunity because that's the only chance they got had to beat.